Tomb Raider has been an outrageously popular franchise ever since its launch in 1996. You are Lara Croft, a master of survival and exploration. You run around in abandoned temples and caves, fighting and performing crazy acrobatic moves to get around. In 2013, a prequel was released under the title Tomb Raider. It was extremely well received and was remade for next-gen consoles in the following year. Instead of being an older Lara Croft, you were about 18. While on the ocean, you and your friends accidentally beach yourself on an island inhabited by cannibals. The game is very gritty and harsh, as Lara hasn't developed her master explorer skills just yet. She is armed at first with only a bow and arrow, hunting deer in order to survive. You eventually meet back up with your friends and then cross paths with some of the inhabitants of the island. After a harsh encounter, you get your first gun. From there, you collect guns quickly and take on the island like you would in other Tomb Raider games. Rise of the Tomb Raider takes place in a different setting, but you seem to encounter the same basic struggles. Instead of accidentally crashing on an island, Laura has set out on an expedition in the Arctic and various other landscapes. This, of course, means a much more dangerous environment as the landscapes may be unstable. Laura will surely have to prevent the dangers that come with low temperatures, like hypothermia. Of course, she will even have to combat animals that guard the tombs, likely including bears. You can see from the trailer that Laura will have a very diverse set of locations to explore, from a snowy forest hunting caribou to diving in sunken ruins and even unearthing ancient Byzantine ruins, she will surely find herself in plenty of trouble. Judging from the trailer, you can also see that she definitely gets captured and imprisoned at some point, which will make for a good stealth segment. When you pre-order the game from Amazon, you will receive three unique prizes. First, you get Hope's Bastion outfit. Hope's Bastion is an outfit made from the Byzantine armor and leather that she has dug up in her tomb adventures. In addition to a better outfit, it actually makes your bow and arrow more effective. Secondly, you get the Reckoner Battle Axe. Instead of wielding your two ice picks like you normally do, they will be replaced by the Byzantine Battle Axe, which will give you the upper hand in close quarter encounters. Finally, you get a Juggernaut Foil card, which changes the gameplay by giving you armor with each kill for a certain amount of time. It also includes four different cards that all change gameplay in their own ways.